The road ahead, it twists and turns in the sun, it beats down and it Good afternoon, everybody. About a month, maybe even six weeks ago, I did a video and showed you guys I planted some, an heirloom tomato. We just sliced that tomato up into slices and we buried or planted each one of the slices in those 10, 20 trays. And uh, we only had two of them that looked like they sprouted. And then, lo and behold, um, I transferred those sprouts into some little pots and they just went crazy. They had, there must have been 20 in each pot. So we're repotting or separating each one of those today. Let's show you what's going on. So, my lovely assistant here, who's being haunted by a bumblebee, has separated all of those into individual plants. So that one slice turned into that. And then we're separating them. We had two pots and they turned into all these little ones. So then we're just separating them and repotting those in here. We absolutely have no idea what kind of heirloom tomato. Just a tomato we saw at Sprouts and like the look of it and it said heirloom on the little stamp so we thought we would try this experiment and so far so good. So from just a few slices of an organic heirloom tomato from Sprouts we ended up uh, after planting those slices in a, in a pot we ended up with 43 tomato plants and uh, we just transplanted those with my wife's help and hopefully these guys will take off and, and do something fun be a nice experiment to see how they go. The red Russian tomatoes we got from Baker Creek have all sprouted and are coming up well. And our microgreens are doing good too. I have sunflowers and peas in that one. We have um, broccoli in that one and kale in that one. Those are all doing really good. And it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon. My lovely assistant is out here watering some plants. <laughs> Trying to organize and get some things <coughs> ready for a nice Easter day, Easter Sunday tomorrow. We also had a bunch, we started them in the little um, three inch pots, a ton of tomatilla plants that um, needed to be transplanted. They had way outgrown those little small pots. So we, uh, or the, actually they were in soil blocks. So we've transplanted all those tom tomatillas today. We also had some San Marzanos that were also um, outgrown in a small pot. Um, and some of these, we really need to get them in the field, but we've had so much rain, the weather just hasn't cooperated with us to get these guys out there. So um, that's where they ended up for today. And from our rainwater catchment, my beautiful bride here is putting some, what are you putting in there? Epsom salt. Epsom salt and some gallon jugs and some rainwater to water all those plants with. A lot of you guys are also familiar with these gravity fed type chicken waters that um, frankly my wife has a really hard time. They're, they are kind of difficult to open and close. They also seem to leak a lot when uh, they're not perfectly level and then the chickens would scratch and get a lot of debris and grit and stuff in the bottom and soak up the water and just constantly having to fill those up every day. But we came up with a solution that seems to be working out really well. Let's check that out. So what I did is we had a chick waterer that has a float valve in it and I took the top off of it and put it out here um, and attached it to our rainwater system. So it has this black line and the chickens are using it and it fills itself with the little float that's in there and it's working out very, very well. Um, it does have a shutoff valve, I don't know if you can see it, but right there I have a shutoff valve if we need to turn the water off to clean it out. But then you can follow that black irrigation line and it runs all the way up the field to right there. You can see the you can see the uh, 650 gallon uh, tank that we pump water into for the market garden but then that hose runs all the way out here and is watering these guys now so working out very well keeping them keeping the water cleaner and keeping it full don't have to change it every day so much easier than those gravity fed uh, water tanks so what are you talking about there's a difference in water color why yeah this is the 
corner, and that's the one off the porch. Oh, from just different barrels have different color? Yep. How oh, funny. No idea why. Now algae? Maybe. Let's see what's wrong with her. I don't know, she's been fussing for a while. So, again, just doing a bunch of yard work. I got everything mowed and cleaned up today. And I redid this pen. This, this is uh, 30 and a third floor now. Oh. Every time he sees somebody outside, he's always doing that. We come outside and he's just begging for attention. But the 35 checks that we're raising for Trinity Haymarket, these guys are all doing really well. Uh, moved their netting and stuff and, and got, got them on some fresh ground today. They're doing well. The road ahead, it twists and turns And the sun beats down and it burns But I keep Keep on pushing through And 